first studied judo under the great Jigoro Kano, who was the father of modern judo and founder of the Kodokan. one of the greatest judo men alive, he is now 73 years old and is little more than five feet three inches high. He weighs less than 110 pounds, but in judo, more than in any other sport, technique is the basis of success. Sutsu no kata, or five forms, are the five symbolic movements representing the ethics of judo. The first form represents the implacable strength of justice. The second form symbolizes victory through yielding. The third form represents two objects revolving in giant circles. Irrevocably they close in on each other and then part without damage. The fourth form symbolizes a giant wave sweeping a beach clean of all debris and impurities. The fifth form shows a clash between two strong forces can only end in mutual doom. But if they move aside and give way, there will be peace and coexistence. According to Kyuzo Mifune, the basic principles of Judo are best symbolized in the bouncing of a ball. No matter in what way a ball is pushed, it never loses its balance and always remains upright. The reason is that a ball does not resist pressure. It can yield to an infinite number of forces without being affected. In short, it represents the old Chinese saying that yielding is strength. Nifune, who has studied judo for 60 years, has concentrated on means of giving the body the same instinctive balance that a ball possesses. guiding judo trainees, he explains that if pushed, you turn aside. If your opponent retreats, you advance sideways, thus retaining balance. In older days, the basic principle was that when an opponent retreats, you push, and when he pushes, you retreat. Ifune has advanced a step further than this. He has made the body adaptable to an infinite variety of changing circumstances. Vital to judo is the ray or salutation. In fact, judo training both begins and ends with the ray, which is basically a way of showing love and respect for other people. It is this spirit of courtesy, ethical behavior and gentleness which places judo apart from other sports. Because judo is made up of an unbroken succession of sharply different movements, special preparatory exercises are held before practice begins. Many of these concentrate on ukemi, or methods of falling without injuring oneself. There are eight kuzushi, according to the direction from which they have been applied. Right front corner kuzushi, left back corner kuzushi, left front corner kuzushi, right back corner kuzushi, front kuzushi, back kuzushi, right kuzushi, and left kuzushi. 
The Tai Sabaki, or turning movement, is one of the most important in Judo. Good movement requires good timing and balance, and is the basis of the lightning application of technique essential to the sport. legs and loins must move in perfect synchronization for the proper application of all leg techniques. The advanced foot sweep. As an opponent's foot is touching the mat, Mifune's leg sweeps behind his ankle and he pulls the opponent forward. The minor outer hooking ankle throw. Mipune disturbs his opponent's balance towards the right, pulls him close and hooks the ankle with the sole of his foot. The minor outer reaping ankle throw. The opponent's ankle is reaped with the sole of Mifune's foot. The minor inner reaping ankle throw. Using his leg like a scythe, Mifune reaps inside his opponent's upper ankle. The major inner reaping throw. Mifune's foot sweeps strongly behind his opponent's knee. The major outer reaping throw. Mifune sweeps the lower part of his opponent's thigh with his own outer thigh. Another form of outer reaping. As the opponent changes his balance, Mifune sweeps. The major outer drop. Mifune places his leg behind the upper part of the opponent's leg, then bears down strongly. The major outer wheel. This is brought into play if the opponent attempts to resist the major outer drop. The knee wheel. Mifune puts his foot on his opponent's knee and pulls him towards him. Another form of the knee wheel, used when the opponent advances quickly. The leg wheel. Mifune puts his leg on the opponent's knee and pulls him down. Another form of leg wheel. This is applied to the opponent's knee when he is pulled down. The propping drawing ankle throw. From a left open posture, Mifune places the sole of his foot against the ankle and scoops. In another form, applied as the opponent moves towards him. The sweeping ankle draw throw. As the opponent steps back, Mifune sweeps the ankle with the sole of his foot. The sweeping ankle throw. The opponent moves sideways. Mifune goes with him, then sweeps both legs with his sole. Tsubame Gaishi. As the opponent tries to sweep his leg, Mifune dodges and quickly sweeps back with his sole. The inside thigh throw. Mifune thrusts his leg between his opponent's legs, turns, bends and lifts him on his thigh. The major wheel. Mifune pulls his opponent hard onto his loin, then straightens his leg to sweep the opponent and drop him. Although the hands are the prime factor in the application of hand techniques, the use of the legs and loins remains a vital part of their application. The floating drop. Disturbing his opponent's balance towards the right corner, Mifune pulls him in a wheel-like motion. The body drop. The waist is dropped 
and with his right hand Mifune prevents the opponent regaining balance. Another form of body drop, applied as the opponent attempts to retire. Yama Arashi. Mifune holds the opponent's sleeve and lapel tightly. Then he draws the opponent in a circular movement and hurls him onto the mat. The shoulder throw. Mifune pulls the opponent onto his shoulder, throws him over his back in a circular motion. The shoulder throw performed with one arm pulling the opponent's right shoulder. In this version of the shoulder throw, the opponent's left shoulder is used as the lever. Notice how little actual physical force is necessary. The shoulder drop. Mifune drops onto his knee and, like lightning, draws the opponent over his shoulder. The rock fall. Mifune applies a neck lock to his opponent, puts him onto his shoulder, and then drops him. Scooping throw. With a sudden movement, Mifune attacks the opponent from the side, grasps him by the waist in a scooping movement, and drops him behind. The belt drop. Seizing the opponent's belt with one hand, Mifune grasps his loin with the other, lifts him and drops him to the rear. The two-handed reaping throw. Mifune seizes the opponent off guard, firmly grasps both thighs and pushes him backwards. The hand wheel. When attacked by the major wheel, Mifune grips the opponent's thigh with one hand, grasps his waist from the rear with the other, raises him up and drops him. Another form of hand wheel. Mifune holds his opponent with one hand, while pushing the inner thigh with the other. Heel sweeping. Dodging the opponent's attempt to attack with a sweeping ankle throw, Mifune drops his body suddenly and sweeps the opponent's heel with his hand. The shoulder wheel. Lowering his hips, Mifune grasps firmly the opponent's inner thigh, then, holding his arm, lifts him on his shoulder and drops him. The shoulder wheel. Mifune disturbs the opponent's balance, pulls him forward, then puts his head and neck under the armpit, hoists the opponent and drops him. The shoulder wheel. As the opponent advances with the left foot, Mifune moves to his left, grasps his legs and drops him. The corner drop, also known as the air throw. This hold was invented by Mifune. He disturbs the opponent's balance in the right rear corner, then drops his body swiftly to throw him in a circular motion. Tamaguruma. Anyone is nonplussed for a second when something unexpectedly drops in front of him. Applying this psychology, Mifune invented this technique of dropping suddenly pressing the opponent's knee gently with his hand and throwing him over his head. The loin techniques utilize mainly the loin and the hip for throwing the opponent. The floating loin. As the opponent steps forward, Mifune slides to his side, grasps his waist tightly, and throws him by turning his own body. The hip or loin wheel. 
His arm hooked around his opponent's neck, Mifune uses his waist as an axis and throws the opponent with a windmill-like motion. The sweeping hip or loin. Mifune pulls his opponent close, turns quickly and sweeps his leg back to throw the opponent. In this version, Mifune pulls his opponent forward, turns his waist and sweeps the opponent's leg back. The lift pull loin. Mifune holds the opponent on his loin, drops his body and lifts the opponent up. In another version of the lift pull loin, Mifune flings up his loin and throws the opponent in front. The major hip or loin throw. Arms around his opponent's back, Mifune lifts him onto tiptoe, then raises him by bending his body. The spring hip or loin. The opponent is pulled close by a turning movement, then pushed high with the hip or upper thigh. The outer winding spring hip. A variation of the spring hip. The attacker also falls, ready to roll on his opponent. The outer winding throw. Mifune hooks his opponent's upper arm from the outside, pulls him against his body and rolls quickly to the mat. The inner winding throw. The opponent's arm is hooked from the inside in this case. The rear hip or loin. Checking an attempt to apply the sweeping hip, hip hold by dropping his hip, Mifune holds his opponent, lifts him and drops him. The changing hip or loin. When the opponent turns his back in an attempt to use the spring hip throw, Mifune snaps his body back and drops him. The jumping loin. Mifune makes no attempt to resist when the opponent applies the spring hip throw, but pushes his hips suddenly back and throws his opponent. The rear wheel. When an opponent attempts to grasp him from behind, Mifune lowers his body, projecting the attacker into the air. throws require the attacker to hurl himself onto the mat in order to take the opponent with him. The stomach throw. Mifune drops straight to the mat, gripping the opponent's sleeves and hurling him overhead with a foot in the stomach. The corner throw. Mifune throws himself on the mat with his instep on the opponent's buttock, projecting him high into the air. Shikomi Gaishi. Grasping the opponent's arm high up, Mifune throws himself on the ground and with his instep pushes the opponent high in the air. The bale throw. Holding the opponent from behind as if lifting a bale, Mifune throws him. The rear throw. Used when an opponent is applying a loin technique, Mifune relaxes, then goes to the mat with the opponent. Another form of rear throw. This one uses the stomach as a lever to throw the opponent. These are a category of throws effected with one side on the ground. The side body drop. Mifune throws himself to the ground as he sweeps the opponent's leg with his sole.
another form of the side body drop. Side separation. Disturbing the opponent's balance to the right, Mifune pulls him sideways as he th himself onto the mat. Another form of wide separation. Mifune disturbs the opponent's balance to the front and then throws him. The arm throw. Holding his opponent's lapel with one hand, Mifune drops to the mat to throw him. The floating throw. Mifune pulls his opponent down to his right front and lowers his body to throw him over his shoulder. Another floating throw. The belly drop. This is most advantageously attempted when the opponent's balance is broken in the direction of his right back corner. The side drop. Again, advantage is taken of balance disturbed to the right side. Both bodies should finish almost parallel to each other. The side wheel. Countering the opponent's attack, Mifune swiftly twists his body, puts his right leg between the opponent's thighs, and throws him with both hands. The separation throw. Mifune seizes the opponent, holds him in a lifting position, and throws him over his shoulder as he drops to the mat. basic, pre-arranged forms of throwing are one of the most important elements of judo. It is essential for anyone studying the sport seriously to devote constant study and practice to these 15 forms. Two partners who are to practice together arrange beforehand who is to do the throwing, he is known as the tori, and who is to be thrown, known as uke. By constant steady practice like this, the trainee gradually learns how to control the movement of his entire body, hands, arms, legs, feet and loins.
When he has mastered his art to a reasonably high standard, the judoka should be able to sense instinctively what kind of move an opponent is contemplating. His mind should almost simultaneously telegraph to his body an appropriate counter-attack. Speed, of course, is all important. The counter-attacking moves should not be regarded as defensive in character. They are definitely attacking techniques. These combinations of 15 attacks and counter-attacks were arranged by Mifune himself. In the following sequence, these facts are shown in the... The floating drop is countered by the body drop. The shoulder throw is countered by the side wheel. The counter to the shoulder wheel is the corner drop. The body drop is met by the minor lifting hip throw. The belt drop is counted by the major wheel. The sweeping ankle throw is met by the Tsubame Gaishe. The minor inner reap is counted with the knee wheel. The major outer reap is counted by the stomach throw. The answer to the propping drawing ankle throw is the corner drop. The inner thigh is counted by the body drop. The counter to the spring hip is the reverse reaping. The sweeping hip throw is counted by the rear loin. The half loin is answered by the changing hip or loin. The floating loin is met by the wide separation And the major loin is counted by the one-arm shoulder throw.